Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today we're talking about CES 2022 and I'm going to talk about some of the vehicles that were there, the ones that I like the best. Starting with the Chrysler Airflow. Finally Chrysler's going to get a new model. It's an all EV model. It has some decent numbers. Basically the potential of having two motors having all wheel drive. Each motor would be a 201 horsepower motor with a range estimating between 350 to 400 miles of range. The overall design is an evolution step for the already good Chrysler brand. This vehicle is very futuristic with a great LED signature in my personal opinion. Good sharp LED lights with a signature stripe that goes all the way down the middle and illuminates the Chrysler logo which is cool to see. Now the airflow name goes all the way back to the 30s so it's cool to see it here in this new modern car which is very aerodynamic. They showed how the air was swoop around this vehicle. It is a very striking design language and no matter which angle you look at it, it's very interesting. The roof is glass, it's the black roof, the white white body. It really does stand out. And I like the back lights, how they are connected as well. And this is airflow illuminated. It can shoot the little beam down below and say Chrysler airflow as you open your doors. And the interior is quite luxurious. Premium materials. This big screen right there in the center of the vehicle. A digital gauge cluster. Your passenger has a digital display as well. Screens in the back for your guests. And it's supposed to be a nice vehicle that can get you where you want to go. All electric with the latest tech from Stellantis, which would be cool to see if this does make production because it is a concept car. Now BMW was there as well with the 2023 BMW iX M60. That's the high performance variant of that vehicle, making 610 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. That should be a monster vehicle with controversial styling, lots of sharp angles, the big fake kidney grille, little tiny slot lights in the front with little tiny lights in the back. I kind of like it from certain angles but it has a very nice interior a lot of people do agree the interior design language is quite nice so this will be an interesting vehicle with lots of power now Mercedes was there as well they shows this cool uh, EQV van which I really did because van life is getting more and more popular so having an electric van that you can go camping with is kind of cool but the biggest thing was their Vision EQXX which is like crazy concept car that doesn't look like any other Mercedes. With a crazy front end, a lot of people are saying that the emblem wasn't centered at the show, which is a little weird to see because usually Mercedes has that attention to the detail. But it is a striking vehicle with a rear end with that little light bar. Uh, it looks like something that would be uh, doing test speed records on like the salt flats and stuff like that. But it had a gorgeous interior. This big screen that went all the way across, showing all these cool features. This uh, mood lighting everywhere and everything felt very premium and very futuristic. Now, GM made a big splash there. A lot of the talk of the town was GM with the Chevy Silverado EV, which is a cool vehicle and very important for them. They had some pretty good numbers. Now, I made an in-depth video about that. I'll leave it in the description below for you guys. But Cadillac was there as well. They had that inner space coupe concept, which is cool to see. It had some very interesting styling cues, a few things here or there that might make production on other vehicles, but it had this crazy couch seating. You sit there with this big display in front of you. It had a lot of cool things, but I want to see more production Cadillacs because that's the first brand that's going to go all EV. After there, well, they showed us the Chevy Equinox EV, and that thing was sharp. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the current Equinox. I've never been a fan of the Equinox in general, but this one was sharp. I really like it. It had a little bit of a sporty vibe to it. I like the headlights. The overall side profile was very sharp with good-looking taillights. And the interior. I like the two-tone. I like the big screens. Everything's slightly facing the driver. That vehicle feels more youthful, more sporty, and I really dig that thing. Now, other than that, that was the big talk of the town. Those are my highlights for me at least. There's a few other vehicles I didn't talk about. But I want to know what did you like? What didn't you like? Are you into EVs? Are you against them? Please let me know your comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs just like this. A little bit of everything, but please like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.